Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a love reading to look at your current love and emotional situation, what your heart needs right now, how you can give your heart what it needs, who may have a message of love for you today, what that message is and what is ahead for you emotionally and in love. I do want to give a quick shout out to my sub the subscribers of this channel and those who have requested personal readings and made donations. It is so appreciated. And then also in the description box of every video is the information on how you can request a video recorded personal reading. I'm also considering starting to offer um, live personal readings over the phone or some type of technology but I'm I'm still not quite there yet still on the video reading so spirit please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video please connect to the Pisces emotionally and in love so we get the clarity and guidance specifically related to love and emotions for Pisces Okay, here we go, Pisces. So what is the current love and emotional situation? Baby. Okay, so this is, the devil is a hard-hitting energy. It's a major arcana. It's with respect to love and emotions. This is a number of things. We will get clarification for it. This, the first thing that came to me is lust, commitment, connection, marriage. Marriage, the devil and marriage can be like the ball and chain. But we definitely see an energy. This can also be about control. So we're going to, I'm going to come back to that and get clarification. But we do have a very um, upfront, powerful energy that you may be facing right now, whether that is um, sensual lust or wanting connection. Um, what does Pisces heart need right now? Nine of wands. So you just need a break. Like you're just, you're ready to not have struggle and love anymore. How can Pisces give it heart, their hearts when it needs the moon? So this is tapping into your subconscious and allowing yourself to feel. You may have gone through all these difficult circumstances. Some of you may have even gone through toxic situations here with this nine of wands, looking at this devil. You, you could feel as though you're very weathered, very worn and looking at either the past toxic situations or an opportunity to have connection now, you're a little bit doubtful because you know what it has cost you in the past. But now we're seeing how can you give your heart what it needs? And this, the moon is Pisces energy. It's about tapping into your subconscious, into your emotions. So I'm feeling Pisces that you may have put your walls up against feeling emotions or about the possibility of coming into connection with somebody as a result of the past difficulties you have had. But this is about getting in touch with your emotions. Um, so who may have a message of love for Pisces? Nine of Cups. And Nine of Cups is Pisces energy again, but it's also somebody who believes you are their wish fulfillment. We will get more information try to figure out who this person is if it's not a pisces it could be for some of you it could be a pisces but moreover i'm feeling as though this is somebody who really feels as you're the one you are um you like fill all their cups all like all the checks in the boxes you have them for this person and what is the message this person has they want to hang on to you and not let you go you are their person and they want to hang on to you and not let you go We'll find out more about that in a minute. And what is coming for you emotionally and in love? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so this is definitely telling me that this is related to commitment and, and being serious in a very earthy, grounded, um, very um, committed situation. So we do see, Pisces, the energies here of, let, let's just, you know, talk about the elephant in the room for a minute, about what your heart needs right now, Pisces. Your heart is so beautiful. Your heart is so giving and so, like, out of all of the zodiacs, your heart is so beautiful. And unfortunately, sometimes beautiful things are not appreciated for the capacity and the value that they provide. So we see here you looking at what might be in front of you as perhaps being in a commitment or being in a situation, but also understanding that you have weathered many storms emotionally. So what is this devil card for Pisces current emotional and love situation? 
What do we need to know about this devil card? So this does seem to be a new relationship or an opportunity to come into union. This is the sun with the devil. The sun can represent a new relationship. And with the devil, this can be a new committed. Oh my gosh, guys. A new committed relationship. Oh my gosh. And then the ace of cups. A new committed love and emotional situation that is really fulfilling. Um, the world card. <clears throat> pardon me, guys. The devil card is Capricorn. The Sun card is Leo, the Ace of Cups is Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the World card is Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Libra. So if you're in, um, involved with any of those signs or if um, anyone around you might have that aspect in their chart somewhere, it could indicate that's the person. But we do definitely see an emotionally fulfilling new opportunity, a new beginning. For those of you who have already, who are already in a commitment, this would be, um, an improvement of that, a, a new sense of um, revitalization, a new new emotions, new um, depth to that feeling. But the, I mean, look at this Pisces, look at how beautiful this is. I understand we have the devil card, but with respect to how it's aspected, this is very favorable. This is very tangible, very real, committed energy. So let's go on to see what this nine of wands is because this nine of wands is what your heart, how you can give your heart what it needs right now. What is this nine of wands for how Pisces can give their heart what it needs right now? So as a result of the fact that you, as we were saying, you know, you have dealt with energies that may have wanted to um, partake of your energy, wanted to experience Pisces love and generosity but with nothing to return. It was only for their own good. And you are weathered by the fact that you have been in a battlefield of love. Love has been a battlefield for some of you where um, you have definitely, it has not been um, a reciprocal love oftentimes for you, but we do see the emperor energy here. The emperor is Aries energy, but it's also, it can be masculine energy or somebody who has the traits of being older than you physically or either behavior, behaviorally. Let's see. I'm going to clarify these two. Spirit, what is this emperor, please? What do we need to know about this emperor? You know, and I'm also feeling that because of the fact that you've been in unfortunate emotional and love situations, you're going to make darn sure that nobody's going to take advantage of you again. What is this emperor? What is this emperor? Thank you. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're definitely going to end things. You're going to make logical choices to not only end things that cause trauma, but you're going to have a more keen discernment about things that could cause you pain. This is also deciding to move forward from the past, understanding that not every situation will equal your past experiences. What is this five of swords? What is this five of swords? But also at the same time, if somebody's not going to treat you properly, you're definitely not going to stay in any type of confusion and you're going to um, move towards your own security and stability. You're, you will no longer allow anybody to keep you in a place of confusion. If they are not direct, if they are not clear, they can hit the road because you, you do not need to stay in a state of worn out, worn down, questioning energy. If they are not clear, then that is perfectly fine. You you can be clear for yourself. You don't need to wait around. And the emperor does not sit and wait around to see what somebody else is going to do. They are going to make an assessment based on the facts, based on how it feels, based on what is right. If it doesn't feel good, they're going to be like, I'm good. Have a nice day. I don't, I'm, I'm good. You know, um, what is this moon card for how Pisces can give their heart what it needs? What is this moon card? for how Pisces can give their heart what it needs. King of Wands. King of Wands is about following your passions. It's also masculine fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Let me get some more information here. Spirit, what else do we need to know about this moon? What else do we need to know about this moon card? What else do we need to know about this moon for Pisces? How they can give their heart what it needs. So we're having the five of wands come out again, guys. Let me let me clarify these. Spirit, what is this king of wands here? What is this king of wands? 
you know, I'm seeing here, this is also to see through any type of confusion around if you, if some of you might be having a little bit of confusion around a masculine independent of gender, but it's just the energy here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that might be feeling very confusing to you. For others of you, this is about you forging forward, even though you might have doubts and allowing yourself to explore. What is this King of Wands for Pisces? What is this King of Wands? So here we have the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups for who may have a message for you. So it could very well be that a fire sign or somebody who has fire in their chart somewhere definitely um, feels as though you are their wish fulfillment and is willing to stand their ground against any other suitors that you may have. What is this five of wands, please? What is this five of wands? And, and conversely, this could be the fact that you're not sure what's going on with this fire sign or this person, this king of wands. Um, and they may want to come and, and get lucky. So to speak, the nine of cups can reference getting lucky. So you may have your guard up against this person because you're not sure if they're exploring other options. What is this five of wands? What is this five of wands, please, spirit? Thank you. So for this five of wands, we're getting the page of wands, the nine of wands again, and the nine of swords. So there, Pisces, you know, you're... You may um, be very nervous or leery about moving forward um, because of the fact that you, it's not that competition in love bothers you, but you're just not wanting to compete when you're in a commitment or, you know, you're just, I feel like the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords, it seems as though you've, you've, you've been there and done that before where there may have been other people involved or unclear decisions or intentions that just you wish somebody would have just been like, look, this is what I want. This is, you know, what I see. But it seems here that there may very well be confusion um, and for how you can give your heart what it needs coming out of this confusion. Um and figuring out how you're going to move forward in a way that will not give you stress and anxiety around love and emotions. And that's another thing that just came to me. If, if a situation or a person is giving you stress, anxiety, fear, or doubt, that is an indicator that it's not a vibrational match to you. What is this Nine of Cups for who has a message for Pisces today? What is this Nine of Cups for who has a message for Pisces today? At the time you view this video. Thank you. So we have a page of pentacles. What else do we need to... Thank you. So it seems here that somebody wants to extend some type of offer to work on this connection with you. Let me clarify these. Spirit, what is this page of pentacles? They could also have earth in their chart. What is this page of pentacles? What is this page of pentacles, please, for this person? What do we need to know about? Thank you. Oops. So this person definitely wants to extend some type of message or offer to you because they do view you as the empress, independent of if you're male or female. They see you as a very abundant person, a very beautiful person. Um, you know, your Pisces are very beautiful um, inside and out. And I, I see that this person may, in fact, see that. What is this eight of pentacles? So we're having, um, this, this person is working to overcome some difficulty and it's really taking a lot of strength and courage for them. It could, they could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in their chart as well, but we do see that they're having a desire to overcome some type of difficulty. It could have also been that this person may have rubbed you wrong, like just, um, came to you with a energy that you're just like, I'm not so sure. So you may have, um allowed a little bit of distance or um, have not been communicating as um, much. But we do see that this person does think of you very fondly um, and would like to work through any type of difficulty to overcome this because I think they really 
they do see you as a good match. What is this four of pentacles for what the message this person has for Pisces? What is this four of pentacles for the message this person has for Pisces? What is this four of pentacles for the message this person has for Pisces? Please, thank you. And we start off with a page of wands, the ace of wands, and the... They want you, Pisces. I'm not, like, this is, they, they want to hang on to you. They want to move forward, have a new beginning, and you are in that picture. Um, I don't believe this person has necessarily communicated this to you yet. Um, again, this is what message do they have? Who wants to communicate with you? What the message they want to communicate is. That means they have not done this yet. They have not made it known to you. Um, but this is what's definitely on their mind. What they would like to say is, you know, on their mind is you are their wish fulfillment. You are um, the checks in the boxes for them. They would like to hang on to you and have something very grounded and stable, move forward on a new journey or have communication about um, a start with you, a new beginning. They feel very passionately towards you, Pisces. So let's see what this Ten of Cups is. What is this Ten of Cups for? What is coming emotionally and in love for Pisces? What is this Ten of Cups? Thank you. So we have the Three of Wands moving forward to growth and expansion. What else do we need to know about this Three of Cups? You know, and, and I'm getting here also, Pisces, that you've definitely been waiting for your emotional fulfillment. You've been waiting for your ships to come in, so to speak, when it comes to love. But, you know, it, it seems as though you've been kind of playing whack-a-mole in love like you know somebody pops up and you're just like oh heck no whack that mole right because they it's just they're a mole they're not um an emperor they're not at your level it's just you know and you're just done playing whack-a-mole i know that's really an odd thing to say but here we are right we have the nine of wands which you know i'm tired of playing whack-a-mole so here we have what is coming for you in love you've been definitely waiting for your emotional fulfillment your, your divine counterpart, Pisces. You have been waiting for your person. Some of you who've met your person want growth and expansion with that person, but what we're really focused on here is what's coming is emotional mastery and moving forward. The Eight of Wands is Cupid's love arrows. It's sudden movement. Let's clarify these. Spirit, what is this Three of Wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Three of Wands? What is this Three of Wands, please? What is this Three of Wands? Some of you have also been waiting for communication from somebody who you feel is a good match for you. Yeah, you're definitely waiting to move forward. You're wanting to move forward. What is this King of Cups? What is this King of Cups? And the king of pentacles so this is you know you want having emotional mastery and wanting to have a stable solid commitment um and success in love for some of you this king of cups could reference uh, masculine energy again independent of gender it's just somebody who's in their masculine energy pisces cancer scorpio for others of you this is indicating your divine counterpart they could um, be a very successful person, very um, entrepreneurial or very um, stable in their field, or they could also have earth in their chart, masculine, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But what we're just seeing is that this person is emotionally um, and foundationally mastered, that, that they're secure both emotionally and financially. What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces? What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Wands? I, I, and what's coming through, what's interrupting is your apprehension. Like, you know, you're just not sure. Some of you are just doubting. Some of you are just like, I'm not sure what their intentions are. What is this Eight of Wands, please? What do we need to know about this Eight of Wands? What is this Eight of Wands, please, Spirit? Thank you. And we have the, okay, so this is a very real, very stable, very grounded um, feeling. This, this person is not flighty. You may 
be triggered by your past experiences to think somebody might be flighty, but this is not a flighty energy. This is coming in very rapidly. This is about love. This is about communication, but it's the Knight of Pentacles when it comes to love. This is slow, um, which is weird to have the Eight of Wands, which is very rapid, but then also slow. So it could have been known to this person very rapidly or known to you. It's like, oh, oh my gosh, this could be my person. But at the same, same time, it might take a while to really fully develop, just taking your time, getting to know each other. But the, the Knight of Pentacles also has staying power and clarifying the Ten of Cups, that is definitely something that is favorable. So Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. And we have intuition. So we've been saying recently, let your intuition guide you and don't let your fear guide you. And here we're seeing that you may in fact be triggered a little bit from your past situations you don't want to play whack-a-mole with people anymore. You know, just having little weasels pop up and having to whack them down. You know, you're, you're wanting to end any type of trauma, any type of difficult situation in the past where people may have wanted to utilize you but did not want to stay with you. We do start off the reading with the energy of commitment, of new relationships, of rekindling of relationship and really having success and fulfillment in love, we do have the energy of concern. Let's just say concern for this Nine of Wands because of the fact that you have weathered storms and weathered people who do not have the best intentions, but you are now in a very logical, analytical mind with respect to people's actions and behaviors because you want stability, you want commitment, you want something very real and grounded that is a match to your genuine love and your genuine kindness we have in how you can give your heart what it needs is the moon this really is about allowing yourself to feel allowing yourself to um come out of a place of stress and anxiety and still guard yourself guard your heart but at the same time you know come out of the darkness of love we do see that a person who thinks of you as a wish as wish fulfillment and as the empress may have a message or a small offer for you wanting they're wanting to come forward out of any type of heartache and pain and they they view you also as a very kind genuine um compassionate person as well very patient as well we see here the message they have is that they want to hang on to you and not let you go they see that they could have a new journey with you and are thinking about um how a new beginning would be with you this can also be a message coming through about getting together with you as well a new beginning with you overall we see what is ahead for love we have the ten of cups this is emotional fulfillment pisces you have been waiting for this to show up for a long time waiting to move forward with somebody who is an equal counterpart for you who's emotionally stable who's financially stable who really you have a deep connection with and it's it's not flighty it's not a whack-a-mole energy it's a very stable very grounded energy and here i i believe for most of you your intuition has been telling you you're human maybe denying it but i, I think your intuition has definitely been guiding you to the fact that you you've you've been through enough and now it's time to allow love in. This is the message I have for you Pisces. God bless.